It is not uncommon to see men coaching girls high school basketball, but the reverse, a woman coaching boys, is not common. But that's likely to change soon, and one woman is absolutely making it work at Hanville High. Ricardo LeCamp reports from St. Charles Parish. But we're going to have to talk on defense tonight. Remember, we are switching everything. Let's have fun and let's play our solid game. Family on me, family on three, one, two, three. Family. During the ebbs and flows of a basketball game, one voice must guide a team through all of it. We need to stay in our offensive set for at least 20 seconds. And the voice for the Hanville boys basketball team comes from Erica Randolph. Win the, game. win the game. The first woman head coach in school history. A lot of these guys I've been with for three, for three years. So it, it was never a thought process, well, she's a female. That's never been the thought process. That's just Coach Randolph. Hanville made the historic move to name Randolph head coach back in the spring after she served as an assistant coach the previous six seasons. Randolph did not expect to even be on the path to coaching after she wrapped up her playing career at Dillard. I had been in the gym so long my entire life. I was like, I'm done with the gym. That's never going to happen. When our head coach, he was at East St. John at the time, he was like, I have a message for you. And the message is, uh, I need you to be my assistant coach. And I was like, uh. And he knew I played basketball because we played basketball and college around the same time. Finally, he made me the freshman coach. And the first time I stepped in and coached the game, I said, oh, this is absolutely where I belong. And now in her seventh year at Hanville, Randolph leads the Tigers boys basketball program. Those close to the team applauded the move made by the school, while those on the outside were a bit shocked that a woman would be leading a boys team. They didn't know um, what we had accomplished in seven years, um, so they were a little bit taken aback, which, I mean, I expect that. I expect to get criticism. I'm, I'm expecting that. I don't really think it's a difference. It's just she coaches us the same. She talks to us the same. She knows the game. It's unusual because, you know, she doesn't yell like a lot of men coaches do, but she will get a point across and she's just as good as any man coach. When a male coaches a female, there isn't that dynamic at all. There's not even a thought process with it. Um, but there's things as a female that I bring to the game because I'm, I, I'm into details. Um, I can see things like before there happen, two plays um, ahead of the game. So there's things that I bring to the game that my players absolutely value. So again, it's not going to be over. That insight came in handy during her head coaching debut. Down two points to Rummel with under 18 seconds left. Her team executed a play out of a timeout to get a go-ahead three-pointer. The X's and the O's, I'm, I'm never going to downplay what that is, but it's your relationships with your players. That's why my guys play so hard, because they know I may fuss, I may get upset, but they know, like, coach cares about me. Some people, I feel like, underestimated her or still underestimate her or what she can do, but us as a team, we believe in her. We know she can help us, and we know she can take us a long way. That's exactly the voice Hanville needs. Reporting in Boutique, Ricardo LeCompte, WWL Louisiana.